really well. I don't think anybody at a young age who gets famous has the slightest idea that it'll ever end. I've always said I wouldn't want to do a farewell tour because people who say that always come back. Maybe it'd be nice to celebrate 55 years of it. Here she is, man, Miss Joan Baez. I was the right voice at the right time. It just shot me in another whole stratosphere. What does fame mean to you? What fame actually is, I don't really know because I don't consider myself famous. I think there's a difference in being well-known and being famous. If I could write my entire history, whether it has anything to do with facts, nobody will ever know, because we remember what we want to remember. The panic attack stuff started early, and then the anxiety just heightened and heightened. I walk out on the stage, and he said, oh, she looks so peaceful. Exactly the opposite of what was going on inside. But I was aware that there were sorrows way greater than mine. Nonviolent action was what I was born for. I knew that I belonged there. And then Dylan showing up. Well, I'll be damned. Here comes your ghost again. I was just there riding the wave with him. I think Dylan broke my heart because it was so shattering. That, I admit. <laughs> And I was really addicted to the activism. There's no way I could have been intimate. And I didn't know that yet. I'm not very good at one-on-one -on -one relationships. I'm great with one on 2,000. Ain't gonna let nobody turn me around and no, turn me around. There'll always be some regret no matter when I quit. Turn me around, keep on a walk. Demons still come and go a little tiny bit, but not the way they used to. Gonna build a brand new world. Somebody asked me which decade I like. I said this one. <laughs>